Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's workout is a low intensity, slow workout designed for you to do when you're on your period. Maybe you're feeling a little bit of cramping going on or maybe you're just not feeling that great and you want something a little bit on the lower intensity side. We're gonna focus on doing a little bit of stretching. We'll do some slow um, exercise movements and we're also gonna try and focus on relieving some tension down here in our lower belly. You don't need any equipment, just make sure that you you can see your screen so you can follow along with me and without further ado let's get to it all right guys so start off down here on the ground you're gonna get yourself into a nice child's pose so knees are a little bit wider you're gonna reach those fingers towards the top of your mat and just kind of sit down here in this pose try and breathe into that lower back Try to release any tension you may be holding in your lower belly. From here, you're gonna roll through that spine nice and slow, and we're gonna come down here into a cobra position. Let those hips sink deep down into the mat. And then again, press yourself back into child's pose, reaching for those fingertips towards the top of the mat. Good, and rolling through that spine, you're gonna sit here in tabletop. We're gonna do some cat and cows. So you're gonna let that belly button sink deep down towards the floor, the gaze looks up, and then doing the opposite, bringing the belly button to the ceiling. Again, release any of that tension you may be holding in your lower belly. Good, extend your right leg and your left arm nice and straight. You're gonna lift it up, squeezing the glute, bringing it down. We're gonna do that three times and then we're gonna switch sides. Try to keep a nice flat back. Don't let that back arch as you're doing this. Good, from here you're gonna move yourself over into a yogi squat. So coming down, releasing those hips, trying to loosen up those hips. You can rock back and forth here, try and release that tension on the lower back and really just let your lower belly go here. You can place the elbows on the knees. Good, slowly roll up through the spine. 
We're gonna do some slow squats. So just coming down and up. Take these as slow as you need to. A lot of people ask me about my workout routine on my period and I think it varies between every single person, but me personally, first day during my period is a no-go. I'm usually on the couch, relaxing, but maybe by the end of the day, I wanna do something like this where I'm just kind of moving my body lightly, nothing too intense. So that's why I'm making this workout. 10 more seconds, try and get in a couple more squats. Good, keeping your feet where they are, we're gonna send the hips forward and then all the way back, you'll feel that stretch in those hamstrings, stretch out those hip flexors. Don't forget about your breath. Take nice, deep breaths. And switch directions. Good, next up we're gonna do some slow lunges. So step to the top of your mat, you're gonna step back. As you step back, you're gonna reach up and then come back to center, reach it up. Try to press through that supporting leg when you're standing up. Good, we're gonna head to the ground. Next up, we're gonna do some slow push-ups. You're gonna do these on your knees, nice and slow, lowering yourself down, letting the hands go at the bottom, and then press yourself back up. Nice and slow. Really use that chest to press yourself back up. Good, flip it over on your back. We're gonna do some glute bridges, nice and slow, sending the hips up. You're gonna count to three, and then bring it back down. Try to remember not to arch the back here as you're pressing those hips up. We wanna protect that lower back. Press the lower back into the floor when you come down.
Good, staying down here, we're gonna move into happy baby. So grab those big toes, and you're gonna let those knees kind of sink down deep into the mat. If this is too much for you, just grab the shins and bring those knees in close to your chest. Really let those hips relax. Try to remember to release any tension you're holding in your lower belly. Take some nice deep breaths. Good, you're gonna plant those feet down on the floor and we're just gonna drop the knees from side to side. You can hold for as long as you need to, as long as feels good. Remembering to take deep breaths, breathe into that lower belly. If it feels good, you can place those hands on your lower belly. Good, from here we're gonna move into a butterfly pose. So your feet are gonna to be together, the soles of your feet, and you're gonna let those knees fall open. Here you really just want to release, release any tension you're holding in your lower back and your lower belly, and place those hands on your lower belly. When you're breathing, breathe deep into that belly. Good, plant those feet flat on the floor. Lift the booty up, tuck the lower back down onto the mat. We're just gonna take some deep breaths here. Good, and when you're ready, you can slowly bring yourself back up. Hands come on either side of the feet. Take a big bend in those knees, and then slowly roll up through the spine. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little circuit. I hope you're feeling a little bit more relaxed. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me your feedback in the comments down below. Let me know how you enjoyed it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!